guys, welcome to a new vlog. I haven't picked up the vlog camera in a little while, but it's Sunday right now. We hit 3,000 followers on my new TikTok this morning, and then we hit 8,000 followers on my fitness Instagram this morning. So crazy, I love that. So if you guys aren't following me on either, uh, go follow me over there. I just finished up editing a video for Tuesday. I think this is gonna go live Tuesday. What's up, Alice? Come here. Um, I have someone coming by to pick up the white cabinet that I used to have right here. So we rearranged this. And now I have literally everything that was in that cabinet sitting here, because I had this downstairs. Uh, but finally brought it upstairs, set it up very similar, and then I just have all my books and like camera equipment and stuff stacked there. I have this all ready for the person that is showing up to come pick it up in a little bit. Okay, that was so easy. They just came by and picked that up. I'm gonna finish uploading this video. This one's going live on Tuesday, and then I need to work on editing another new video. You guys have been loving the at-home workouts, so I have another one coming. I think I'm gonna post one at least like once a week if I can get them like pre-filmed. Um, so I have an arm workout that I'm gonna upload for Thursday probably for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna work on editing that maybe on like Tuesday when I'm actually home. So Monday I teach in Orange County and then my friend's birthday is <laughs> like two days later but she's doing a birthday dinner on monday in orange county so i'm not gonna drive all the way home to drive all the way back there so i'm just gonna hang out with one of my other friends and like just try to <laughs> waste most of the day until um her birthday dinner so that way i'm not like having to drive back and forth so i won't actually be home to like edit and work and get stuff done so i want to make sure that i get everything done and ready so that this video can be up on tuesday and i don't have to worry about it Okay, my video did not compress correctly. Um, it failed because I didn't have enough storage on my little um, external storage, or my, my hard drive. So um, I need to redo that. Hopefully it doesn't take as long this time. Um, I'm gonna sit and go through a few practice tests. I'm gonna aim to do at least two today. I've been like staying on track with studying for my CPT. Like I said, most of it is stuff that like I already know from you know just having a fitness background and being in the fitness industry for the last few years. Um, there's just some things that I'm getting like a little more tripped up on, like more of the um, anatomy, like very specific names of things. Uh, so those are the things that I need to like make sure that I'm going through and studying over again. But for the most part. It hasn't been too bad, but I think that's mostly just because I have a background in fitness already and a majority of it I already know and I've learned over the years. So I'm going to take some practice tests and we're going to see where we're at. And hopefully I'll be able to take the test soon. I have my interview or my phone screening interview on Tuesday this week. So... I think I have two meetings on Tuesday actually. Tuesday is already like a booked day. Monday's a booked day. Wednesday is going to be a long day. Like, <laughs> it's weeks are starting to get so, so busy for me. Um, and I'm also going to be taking on week nights at Revel. So it's going to be a lot of like back and forth for a little while until we like really get this schedule sorted out and most of our work in Orange County. Um, so. Lots of things going on this week. That's why I'm using today to make sure that I get everything that I need to done because I know I need to get to bed early today and I need to make sure that I pack like a bag for all of my stuff tomorrow. But I'm gonna worry about that later. We're gonna focus on going through a practice test right now while I wait for my video to re-export. shower did my skincare and everything I finally went through the entire tub of the Elemis moisturizer 
this stuff is so good if i didn't already have another backup and like other moisturizers that i need to try out i would absolutely buy this one again it is on the pricier side though but i do like how light it is i feel like i it took me a while to go through this because i kept switching up my moisturizers but genuinely really enjoyed this elemis one and then uni sent over um their body serum a few days ago i think i already showed it in another vlog but i really wanted to try it out i was reading the ingredients and it has aloe vera in it and I was like, that would be really good after like laying out in the sun. It has coconut extract, sea kelp, like an olive oil. So I'm like, I feel like this is just going to really moisturize my skin after being out in the sun. So I think I'm going to save this for the days when I like do lay out in the sun. This will be my moisturizer afterwards. Um, it's like a reusable bottle and this they said is their forever pump. It's a 24 hour body serum. I have no idea how expensive this is i should look this up but it smells so good too and i feel very like moisturized without feeling like super like oily you know i like this one let's see how much it is because it's a reusable bottle and a reusable pump so i think you probably just buy like the refills for it i'm assuming probably why it's called like refills you need refills <laughs> refill system okay they have a bunch of other products too their 24 hour body serum. Maybe you do just have to buy the whole thing again? I'm so confused, let's see how it works. <laughs> okay, your kit includes a forever pump made to keep in a refill. Oh, made to be recycled or returned. Okay, so you get a whole new bottle every single time and then you keep the pump. Okay, so yeah, you do buy the whole new bottle each time but it's like made of material that you can recycle so let's see how much the body serum is 43 dollars so i feel like that's like i mean this is a good size of serum i don't know if i would use this as like my everyday thing but this is definitely like i feel like a good serum for summertime which i'm really excited to have especially like being out in the sun to like hydrate my skin and everything again okay well just wanted to share that with you guys. I was not sponsored at all, but they did kindly send that over. Um, and I'm excited to try it out. I am breaking out like crazy. Like this one hurts so bad. Do you guys see how raised that is? <laughs> oh yeah, that one's like the most painful one that I'm dealing with right now. I definitely did not eat the best this week or drink enough water. So I think it's all the sugar that I had this week. Not cute. Okay. I don't know what Billy is barking about down there, but I'm gonna put on some deodorant, fix my hair, put some um, leave-in conditioner in it, and then let it air dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna blow it out for the week because I work tomorrow morning. The leave-in products that I've been using right now, this one I got sent a while ago. Um, it's a balance and restore like apple cider apple cider vinegar spray. I'm honestly not totally sure how you're supposed to use this. I've just been like spraying it in my hair. It says it's the first step right out of the shower to prime and protect your hair. I don't know, it doesn't have too much information on it, but I got sent this like years ago and I'm still kind of using it. And then this is my leave-in conditioner. I'm almost out of this, so I'm going to need to pick up a new leave-in conditioner soon, but I did like this one. Um, and then I have this Verb heat protectant that I used since I've been using my Dyson on my hair pretty much every other wash pretty much every wash right now I guess this pump though gets stuck after a while that's the only downside of this one I give you like it's because I'm getting towards the bottom of it okay I haven't used my red light therapy face mask in a little while but this hurts so bad and the red light will help with the inflammation so i'm gonna sit and do this for 20 minutes i think you're supposed to do it like before you put all of your serums and everything on but i didn't think of it until now so it's okay oh well i think i might need to charge this again soon i think if there was one like red light therapy thing that i would highly recommend like if you don't have a ton of money to spend on red light therapy, 
absolutely recommend this little box. This is like 50 something ish dollars. You can set it on your counter and still get like red light uh, therapy benefits while it's just like sitting there and you're doing like your body care, your hair care and everything like that's where I do my red light therapy in my routine. menace and then i also got i don't even know where it went i think it's like in my extras bin because i just don't really reach for it but i got the little what what do they call it fair wand or no the, i forget the name of it but the little wand one that like you're supposed to do over your face um that one would be a cool idea for like travel if you didn't want to like bring a whole thing with you but the thing that i don't like about that is that like you know you're not holding it over your face for a certain amount of time and i'm pretty sure for red light you're supposed to get <gasps> dude what are you doing stop <laughs> you little weirdo i was going in my shower after i shower can you <laughs> get out please um but you're not i feel like you're not totally getting like the full effects of the red light therapy with it maybe like a spot treatment with it so I don't know if I would like fully, fully recommend that one. Um, so if you're going to spend like a little bit more money, I honestly love this one. I haven't tried any other like red light therapy face masks, but I like that this one's flexible. This one um, is like portable. You can walk around with it, do you like your morning routine with it. And it's just, it's so easy and you just charge like this little charger. You can travel with it. So I think like my first option, if you don't have a ton of money that you want to spend, but you do want to like get into red light therapy, I highly recommend this little box situation that you can like set up on your counter or wherever in your bathroom and then if you do have the money to spend something like this i see a lot of different like face masks on the market but i like that this one is flexible because i've seen some of the other ones that look like they're like hard plastic and they are they don't seem like they're flexible so i just i like that this one's flexible and it's like comfortable and it doesn't hurt my face at all okay we're gonna do 20 minutes of this and then go about the rest of my evening. I'll probably dry my hair after that. I just finished packing for tomorrow. I have a few different outfit options for like casual during the day. I think I'm hanging out with my friend Jess and we're just gonna like, I don't know, maybe go shopping, do something chill, like nothing too crazy. So I wanted like casual clothes to wear for that. Come on in, come here, get your ball. Oh no, it's dirty. Um, and then I have a nicer jacket and a nicer outfit in there for dinner tomorrow for Cassie's birthday. And then I have hi, my makeup bag out because I'm going to toss the rest of this. I'm going to like put this on in the morning, toss everything in here, and then toss this in those bags. And then this is my work outfit for tomorrow morning that I'm going to be wearing. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi. Today is felt like such a long day, but I feel like I got so much done. We got my video ready for the week. I got another piece of furniture sold. I studied for a little bit, took two practice exams, and read a little bit of my book. Sat outside for a little while, got some sun. We got all packed and ready for tomorrow. And I feel like I'm like ready to start the week. I have a little bit of red wine left from the bottle that I bought last week I think um, so I wanted to finish that before it went bad um, I'm just gonna sit here and watch I think Royal Pains and just try to like wind down for the evening it's like 4 30 now and I try to be in bed and like fully like off my phone and ready to like try to fall asleep by 8 p.m. so there is mud all over that ball 
No. Oh my goodness. No. No. You are getting, you got mud all over my clean comforter, bud. No, no. <laughs> okay, you're good to lay down. All right, I'm gonna sit in bed, chill out for a little while, try not to do any more work today, because I always do that to myself. I like sit in bed and be like, okay, so what can I edit? What can I work on for like TikTok or Instagram or like YouTube shorts and stuff like that? So I'm gonna have to try not to do that. We're just gonna sip on our wine and let our brain go to mush for a little bit and watch some Netflix. I've got so many compliments on my nails and I can't remember if I've had them for two weeks or three weeks now, but they are to the point where like, they're starting to get caught in my hair and they're not even that grown out. Like, do you see? <laughs> they're not even that grown out and they're already getting caught in my hair, so. I'm gonna look back and see when I actually got them done. I'm gonna try not to get them done for at least like four weeks at a time. Like, I'm really gonna try to push it to like a month if I can. That's why I liked getting them so short, but we'll see how long these go for <laughs> before I end up getting them redone. It's only 7 p.m. I told myself that I wasn't gonna work and do anything else and I uploaded like two or three more TikToks. So, cut myself off for the day. <laughs> We're done. I'm gonna brush my teeth, lay in bed, and actually try to stay off my phone for the next at least two hours so that I can literally unwind for the day. I also didn't realize that it was gonna be so rainy tomorrow, I think in Orange County, so I had to repack some stuff and uh, I packed all of my tripods and everything, so I think I'm gonna try to film a workout tomorrow since our room is ready, I'm so excited. Um, and I'm charging my camera to film more workouts again. So that is all of that. Packed my laptop tomorrow as well to get some editing and like some other stuff done in the middle of the day. <sighs> yeah, I just know tomorrow is gonna be a very, very, very long day. And I'm already excited to sleep in on Tuesday. I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope I got enough content for uh, a Sunday fun day vlog. If not, we'll continue on more content tomorrow. But otherwise, if I did, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.